Okay, so we're gonna practice an emergency gear extension, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna teach you how to teach it to your students. Okay, perfect. So, over here, down here, we have a, a circuit breaker, which is a landing gear. Um, circuit breaker. And what we'll do is we'll pull it out. So we'll pull out that circuit breaker. Okay. And what we'll do is when you teach the emergency landing gear extension, uh, you want to distract your student uh, before pulling the circuit breaker. So you'll tell them, uh, we have, do you see that traffic over there to our left? Or do you see that traffic behind us? Try to get them distracted so they don't see that you pull that circuit. Okay. Uh, let's keep an eye out on that traffic. So next, once you uh, pull that circuit, you want to ask them if uh, you could uh, configure to land. Uh, let's do like a power off landing, a okay. power off stall. Sounds good. So let's configure it using gum. So we're simulating like if we're coming into land. So, so gas fuel selectors on the left. Undercarriage, so gas 25 minutes. And we'll bring the undercarriage down. So let's bring the gear down. Make sure we're in below 150, which we are. And we'll bring the gear down. And they're like I taught them, like I taught you, we have to keep the hand on the gear until we see three greens. Okay. So you notice that we don't have three greens. I don't hear that sound, uh, and also the gear in transit light is not illuminating, right? Exactly. So then they're going to notice that the gear is not down. So to troubleshoot that gear, and we have someone 400 feet below us, let's turn to the left and let's make a radio call. Let's turn to the right and make a radio call. Santa Fe traffic arrow to my seat arrow. 4,100 over Santa Fe Dam, heading eastbound, uh, Santa Fe, turn to the right. Okay. I don't have them inside, we'll stay at 4,100. And we'll continue the emergency landing gear extension. So the landing gear is not going down and we recognize that. Uh-huh. So then we'll bring the checklist out and we'll let the student know how to bring the gear down. So we'll go to our checklist and we'll go to emergency landing gear extension. All right. And we'll start off with number one, which is our instrument. Look for that traffic. Should be no factor. Instrument panel lights off. So we'll go to the panel lights and uh, the, if the little hole's pointing at us, that means that it's off. So we'll make sure that it's off. Why do we check that? Uh, for the lights, uh, maybe we can't see them uh, due to night. At, like a night flight, um, the, the lights might be a little... Um, how do you say it? So the panel light switch dims the lights and not very visible during the day? Exactly. Okay. So that's what it means by that. So next we would recycle the gear. So we know the gear is down, so we would have to bring the gear back up. So we'll go here up. And we're not going to hear anything because we know that circuit breaker's off. So I like to use, the gear takes about five to seven seconds to go up, but I just like to keep my hand, it's a, it's a habit to make sure the gear's up. Uh, keep my hand on it for like five to seven seconds. Okay. Next, we'll check our master, it's on. So our master is on as we have here, and we're still looking out for traffic, making sure there's no other traffic. And then the next one is landing gear circuit breakers in. So what we'll do is we'll check if the circuit breaker, the one that we would pull out, so the when we distract the students to make sure. And then the student would be like, ah, that's why. Uh -huh. But are we allowed to push it back in as a student or? Uh, no. Oh, okay. So we're gonna keep simulating. Like, let's say that gear is that. Let's say that circuit breaker is in and it's still not coming down. Okay. We'll check the gear indicator lights. So. Uh, for the gear indicator lights, we could check the lights, so we would remove um, these uh, like lights, okay. and we would check if they're maybe like they're blow like one is blown out, and we just need a switch, and we have some extra spares to your left. A little pocket. Yeah, and we would check if maybe we would uh, switch the lights. Okay. So we could just push that back in because we know the circuit breaker is out. And what we'll do is we'll trim for a hundred, so we'll slow the airplane down. We're still looking for traffic, which should be no factor. We'll slow down to a hundred miles per hour. And that horn, why did it go off? I mean, we don't have any flaps. 
So that gear uh, in transition, um, that's a gear in transition light. But the other one was the one that illuminated. The gear warning light, I mean. The gear, gear unsafe. unsafe. That means that uh, we're below 14 inches and our gear isn't down. So it's giving us like a warning like, hey, bring your gear down. The airplane feels like it's going to come into land. Okay. So it's just reminding you. We'll add a little bit of power. So we'll pitch for 100. So next what we'll do is a landing gear selector. So now we'll put the gear down. So we're at 100, we're at a safe airspeed, we're below 150. And we'll go landing gear down. Again, I like to keep it 5 to 7 seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000. So we know the gear is down. So number 8 is the emergency gear lever. So down here we have a red knob, which is the emergency gear lever. Um, and it's an extension switch, which if we push it down, the gear uh, releases a fluid and the gear comes down. Okay. So we'll push that down and we're going to notice that three green lights are going to come on. Do we and just we push and, and hold? Oh, okay. So we're going to push and hold. So How long do we hold it for? Uh, I like to hold it until we see all the green lights. Okay. So let's go down. We'll push it and the, you're going to feel that drag, that added drag. So we see one green, two green, three green. And once I see those three greens, I let go. And now our gear is down. Okay. And if our gear didn't come down, we would yaw the aircraft as necessary. So we would try to yaw left and right. So that gear, maybe if one of them is stuck. Yeah, um, let's say uh, your left gear wasn't fully extended. Uh huh. So what we'll do, let me turn a little bit to the right just for. Okay. Uh, airspace. We'll add a little bit of power so we don't lose that altitude. Sure, we're clear of any traffic. We have no traffic in sight. There's guys below us, 1,700 feet below us. All that added drag slowed us down. Yep. Started descending slowly, but good recognition. You're still flying the airplane while you teach, right? Alright. Okay, so now let's uh, let's go towards that mountain. That's a good reference point. So 3,700. So let's say our left um, uh, gear isn't down. And it, down here it says yaw aircraft as necessary. So we'll yaw the airplane to the left because the wind is going to be pushing. Let's say it's stuck. It's gonna, let's say the gear is like stuck. If the wind pushes the gear, it could help the gear come down all the way and lock. Okay. With what we call, we have mechanical down locks on our gear to help the, the gear lock and it'll help the gear to stay down. Let's give it a try then. Okay, so let's do a yaw to the left. And when we yaw to the left, we would notice that our left uh, main gear uh, goes down and it would lock with our mechanical down locks that our airplane has. Perfect. And that's how we would, uh, that's what we would do if we have an emergency landing gear extension failure and we would need to figure out how to bring our gear down for our airplane that's a complex airplane. All right. Is the maneuver considered over at this point? Um, yeah, the maneuver would be uh, considered over because we have the three greens, but because we're not coming into land, we'll just bring the gear up to make sure that the lights turn on. Before you do that, do we do anything to the landing gear circuit breaker? Oh yeah, we'll push it down. Okay. <laughs> so we'll push it in. So make sure our uh, circuit breaker is in. And now we know that the hydraulic pump is going to be working and we'll be able to hear it and see the gear in transit light, right? Exactly. So okay. let me bring the gear up. And then you see that gear in transition light. And again, I like to keep my hand on the gear handle for about three to five sec uh, five to seven seconds. And then our gear is back up. I'll bring up back a little bit of power for 20 inches. And we're still looking outside for traffic. Great execution.